And then finally, uh, print integration. Um, we have this crazy system. It's old. Uh, it's called CCI. It's made by uh, Danish people. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> um, it, it, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't really have an opinion on it. The, the, but it's it's a it's a major piece of software within within the, the newsroom um, because all anything that a reporter writes starts in CCI, it gets dumped into CCI, and then it goes through this kind of complicated workflow where it goes through the copy editors and the source editors, and then it flows through a CMS, and then it flows to print, and I mean, it's a big kind of complicated system. In the past, what we've had to do is literally copy numbers into tables um, to go to print. And what we did this time is we used Django, we created XML templates, we pushed them up to the system via FTP, and like I said, it appears to the print producers as if it was a story coming in on a wire. Um, they have a table, and they can literally click and drag, put it on the page, send it to print. I'll tell you a little story about that when we get to the adventures part, though. <laughs> um, that was my mistake. <laughs> um, yeah, so. And here we are, adventures. Uh, so uh, a couple of adventures, and then I'm going to tell you uh, at least one that wasn't out here. Um, so we had so, so one problem that we had with uh, with uh, one of the candidates was that for some reason when we processed his image, it was always coming in flipped. <laughs> and it was the silliest thing. I don't know. I was I really giggled at it when I saw it. Um, but we could not for the life of us figure out how to fix it, and then I just opened it up in Mac Preview and resaved it, and that fixed it. So, I don't know. Um, I don't know what was going on. It was just that one image. I think it was some weird cell phone camera setting. I don't know. It was very odd. Um, but Simon's guy was pretty funny. Um, obviously, the plagiarized survey was pretty funny and interesting. Um, <coughs> All right, so before stop the press, I'm going to tell just a quick story. So the Tribune does three print runs uh, every night. Um, the first one is a print run of uh, less than 10,000 papers that go actually even beyond the state quarters, so that Green Bay, Wisconsin, really far out. Um, and I, I'm not entirely sure why they still do this, but they have this first print run of the night. Um, and. Um, and then, and then they have two subsequent print runs, um, one that targets the city and one that targets the suburbs, I believe. Uh, that's why they do the two, the two print runs. And all that's they have, they have two more, they have two more print deadlines throughout the night. So that's uh, 10 p.m., 11 p.m., and midnight. Um, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, the first print run, uh, they call me up, okay, time to drop the data um, into the print system. Um, I'm like, awesome, let's go, cool, this is cool. Um, I drop it in, uh, I get a call 15 minutes later. Are these the right numbers? Because we gotta, we got to print this thing in like five minutes. And I looked, and I had not switched the API URL from the test data to the production data. <laughs> Fortunately, it was the 10,000. It was the 10,000 copy print run, not the you know quarter million. Um, and uh, we and we caught it, so we replaced the, the results tables with a house ad. Fortunately, most of the market, most of the people who would be reading this wouldn't even care because they're in Wisconsin, not in Illinois. Um, <laughs> that was really nerve wracking. Um, so then an hour passes, and I get the call. Okay, you know, time to drop the time to time to drop the data again. Got to go to print for the big print run. I fixed the problem. We're we're very very sure that it's not test data. <laughs> um, and again, 15 minutes passes. I'm like, okay, I guess it's about to go to about to go to press. I get a call from Reuters. I don't think they literally said stop the presses. I think they said something like, is there any way you can delay your print process for a few minutes? <laughs> They've been given that data um, from an election clerk. And so uh, minutes, really like minutes, before we were about to replay and send everything off to print um, for a very large print run, I'm like calling out numbers over the phone, like Dillard plus 43, Rounder minus 5. like minuscule adjustments to each one of the numbers because somebody in uh, in uh, an area of Illinois um, 
instead of giving uh, the numbers for uh, county region and municipal region, gave the same numbers for both, just repeated the same numbers. It was a mistake, it was fine. Um, and honestly, uh, in the past, we wouldn't have even known about areas like that, so we were pretty happy that, that we didn't that we did catch it. Um, oh, the diagram of your... And these are uncertified. These are uncertified results when they go to print. So if they're off by five votes, it's, you know, there's, there's noise in the data. So a diagram of your content management system should include you yelling over the phone. <laughs> it was a big part of, it was a big part of election night. It was me yelling over the phone. Yeah. Oh. And then the last one, also a mistake that I made. I, I'm focusing on my mistakes, so nobody else is incriminated. Oh. <laughs> But, uh, uh, yeah, you know there's reporters all working on the Google spreadsheet, typing in the data. Somebody came over and was like, hey, you know, uh, two of these candidates actually need to leave the results. We found out at the last minute um, that, the, that they had dropped out of the race. Um, so it was like, oh, I don't know how to do that. And I just deleted the rose out of the spreadsheet. Chaos! Ah! And then totally messed everything up for everybody. Um, but we fixed it. So, <laughs> But there's several reporters so I think would make it clear. So, <laughs> um, adventures. Election nights are always, always really, really big adventures. All sorts of crazy things happen. They, even, even minor elections are pretty exciting in the newsroom. Um, uh, so just credits and shout outs. Uh, you can check this out. Um, but we had a big, a big team of people working on it. Um, so uh, particularly want to point out uh, just because these are people that you wouldn't normally hear about. Jessica Reynolds on the editorial board is awesome. Chris Courtney, our designer, is the reason why a white page with a bunch of text and a tiny little photo up in the upper left corner actually looks really good. Um, it's magic what he does. I don't know how he does it, but it's really cool. Um, and then I also just want to point out that um, we had a lot of support from project managers at the Tribune Company, as well as Reuters. If you're a tech person, love your project manager. That person is your best friend, and you need to make them as happy as possible. Um, that's a rule. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so